Hello guys, and you join me today in Ireland and I've been invited to drive this, the new Suzuki Swift Sport. Now, does it meet the match to the old one? Let's find out. So, inside the Swift Sport, I have with me Aaron from Car Obsession. Hello. And we are, well, co-partnered, we're co-partnered up today, haven't we? Yes, we are. Um, so oh, yeah, to so the question that I started this video off, how is the Suzuki? How is the Suzuki Swift, and how does it stand against the outgoing version? So, Aaron's done a big drive in it. How did you find it? Just to start very off with. good fun, very good fun indeed. Um, yeah, I definitely think that the brand has has built on the success of the last model. Honestly, I'm still not sure on the price, but that's a personal opinion. Anyway, back to you. Yeah. So let's start with the engine because that's a big point from the outgoing to this one. So they have now opted out of NA engines, which is a shame. We all cry boo-hoo. Um, I was quite sad to hear about the news because um, I quite thoroughly enjoyed the NA engine. I'd love to wring it by its neck. Um, but this is, this is no slouch, I'll tell you that for certain. Um, and because we're in Ireland, I don't know where I'm going, so do bear with me to the horizon. Yeah. So yeah, back to the engine. So yeah, they've... Um, ripped out the engine from a Vitara S, um, which is a 1.4 booster jet. Um, has 140 brake horsepower. Um, so in comparison, it's about five or six brake. Um, and from seeing- so, mate, 138. 138? Yeah, so mate. Oh, I give or take a few mile an hour. But yeah, so this is what I mean, car reviewers. Car. <laughs> so yeah, the car reviewers kind of critique it too much in terms of, oh, it's not a big difference, but brake horsepower is not everything, is where we come to the torque. So the torque itself, this has 230 newton meters. And in comparison, it's around, I think, 50, 60 less uh, than the it's, outgoing. It's, no, it's 70 more. 70 more, I'm, yeah. talk, I'm thinking in pound foot. But yeah, in pound foot torque, yeah, it's about 50, 60 less than the old one, which is a big, big difference. And considering that this car is 80 kilos lighter as well. The power to weight is unbelievable. Really is. And now we're on a proper road. We get to feel the grip. It's got great mechanical grip. I think the tires from standard are not great. I've never really been a big fan of Conti Sports. Um, great for this condition, they're probably the best it will ever be. So it's a shame they don't have pilot sports. But yeah, so yeah, the engine I think is good. What do you think of the engine in terms of the difference? Yeah, it's, it's definitely got a good amount of grunt to it. Um, yeah. um, in the mid range, it's got a lovely amount of pull. It really does have a strong amount of performance to it. You know, it's not a real hot hatch, really, in regards yeah, to yeah. brake horsepower. Yeah, but exactly. But yeah. It never has been. It never has yeah, been. Exactly. It? Yeah. If we're talking about comparing this car to its predecessor, then the increase in torque is, you can really feel it. You know, it is a big increase. It yeah. It really is. And if you've watched my outgoing Suzuki Swift Sport video, which I will leave somewhere, wherever it is in the video, um, yeah, I did say it needed more power. In terms of to match the chassis because the chassis is so capable on that thing mm. um but you just didn't when you come out of a corner you just didn't have enough speed and um oh typical isn't it i'll come on this road and then there's traffic and you did it <laughs> i think God. but yeah so i think in terms of that big stepping stone from moving from natural aspirated to turbo i think they've done pretty well mm. um yeah not so much low torque you have to kind of ring it a little bit you feel a little bit more of a boot at mid-range. Um, kind of weird because they're only small turbo, so it should really come in quite early. Mm. But um, I suppose it adds character to it, really. Um, next thing, weight. You can really feel the weight, can't you? Either, well, in terms of or lack of it. Yeah, the lack of it. Yeah. So yeah. as I said, it's 80 kilos less. Um, and even though I haven't driven the old Swift in a while, I can definitely feel the difference. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely big, big improvement. And it's not, the weight saving isn't just for performance, it's also for safety. So they've managed in the process, some mysterious way, they've got a thing called Heart Tech. I don't know if you know too much about it. Yeah. It's a new platform that Suzuki have adopted um, to give you 
obviously lightweight um, parameters and also safety as well. So I think it's got about 30, 40 percent more safety than yeah, so a normal construction so of a it's car. It's lighter, but at the same time stiffer, which yeah. is, you know, it's, it's magic. a win-win. It is magic, it really it is. is. It is magic. Yeah. So that is another good point. I quite like it, the yeah. fact that it's lighter. It makes it, in terms of the recipe from the old one, you can kind of see that they're still building on that and improving it and making it better. Yeah, um, it's, it's so chuckable. Yeah. Um, one of the things that we both kind of have had a discussion about is the price. So this particular model, it's got everything on it. In terms of, we don't know what's an optional extra or what isn't. So I don't think, I don't think there'll be many optional extras. Yeah. In truth, I think most of our optional extras will be more around personalization, uh, decals, you know, that kind of things, maybe different inlays, uh, more cosmetic rather than mechanical or indeed um, technology. Yeah. Crazy bull, crazy bull, man! <laughs> so now we get to stretch the car's legs a bit. So yeah, the, the, the price, so back to that, I was a bit distracted over taking that van. But yeah, I think in terms of nowadays, I think no car in this segment is cheap anymore, to be fair, compared to what it used to be. Like, I mean, it's a four and a half grand difference from the old Swift to this one. Um, but you are getting a lot more for your money than the old one, I think. That'd be a good place for pasture shots, mate. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Just to quickly interrupt your filming. Now that I've been a passenger down this road, there's actually quite a few places where I could stand for passing footage and photos. Yeah, I love the fact that since we've been in Ireland, we feel like we've gone through Spain, then France, and then we're in Wales now, the roads. Yeah. The roads are all we get, aren't they? It's like a mini continent. Uh, another selling point to this car is the brakes. The They're brakes are good. The brakes are on point. And the one question I did ask to the guys at Suzuki before I started to drive this is how um, they've improved on the steering because the steering in the outgoing one was quite shocking in terms of when you're going through corners you didn't know quite what steering input you needed whereas it's safe to say that they've made this a lot better in terms of the steering output they've made it a lot more weighted so you can feel the, feel it through the corners a lot a lot more surprisingly there's not much understeer no it's, it's direct and, and yeah. that's what you really need in a car like this especially when it's this small this compact and yeah, this light it needs to it needs to be able to move like a housefly, and this car really does. As I said earlier, it is very chuckable. Yeah. So the colours. I mean, we are in the champion yellow colour mm, car. My favourite. Um, it's their special colour. It pays tribute to the World Rally cars of yesteryear when Suzuki competed in the World Rally Championship. And Aaron isn't a big fan of yellow, which I thought he was. I don't know where you got that impression from. I'm really not a big fan of yellow. Ooh. Ooh. And, uh, well, I thought you were a yellow guy. I mean, you're brown. No, but... I'm not mate. <laughs> yeah, but I quite like it. I think it's the color suits it quite well. And I mean, when you compare it to a normal Swift, I don't think it'd look good on a normal Swift, but with all the aggressive front end and rear end of this car, definitely is a big improvement yeah it's got a nice stance to it yeah but I mean after because we're, we're here and they've got the selection of all the colors including speedy blue which that's both my favorite me and Aaron have driven in standard form and yeah it does yeah. look wicked in it. it really does god this road is good oh yeah <laughs> it's good I don't want to push too much because we don't know the road no. but we're doing many miles an hour right now This were DeLorean, I think we'd be going back in time right now. <laughs> the healing toe could be better, but yeah, this is a mega car. I think they've done a good job yeah. to resurrect the sport back. Really have. We'll gloss over the price, we'll gloss over it.
and this ride, like I mean, you wouldn't think you're in a sports super mini, you really wouldn't. Compared to, again, the outgoing, it was so firm and yeah, this is wicked. They balance the suspension on point. But it's a shame really because you need to bear in mind that this is a first drive and we're on a press release, so press launch event, so we can't really criticise the car too much because we don't really know it. But I mean, we're getting a real good idea right now, aren't we? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, as first impressions go, <laughs> yeah, it's done a they pretty are good very job. Much good. Yeah, definitely. And I think the guys at Suzuki have picked a great place to come from. Oh to, yeah. yeah, they really have. Oh yeah, tell me about it. So big props to them guys. Mm. But other than that, yeah, good package, good little package. Yeah. Because you've driven the Fiesta, the new Fiesta, the ST line. Yes, but ST line, I, I drove the ST line X, and that was really, you know, that was marvellous. I really had a lot of fun in that car. Yeah. Um, but I have that or this. It's too early to say. I spent a week with her. Yeah, yes, exactly. Whereas I've spent. This is what know, this is what I mean. You about can't. An hour with this car, so it's, it's tricky. And I haven't even driven the Fiesta, so. Yeah. I would say both Fiesta makes a better noise and I Yeah. I prefer the interior, but you know, the interior is kind of, you know, nitpicking, but no, the engine definitely makes a better noise, it's got a nice front to it. Yeah, I think because this isn't a purposely built engine for this car, it's obviously used in the Rotara, I think that it's just kind of been placed into the car because it's a well suited engine, it's small, it's a it's got quite a lot of torque, so it matches the car quite well. Yeah. But I think obviously the Fiesta is a little bit more it's capable. Frugal, it's frugal as well. Yeah, I mean this they Suzuki claim that this can do fifty to the gallon, which is quite cool. Yeah. That is quite cool. How comparison is that to the Fiesta? Uh oh, now you're asking. Um uh, I think the Fiesta was around on a combined run, I think it might have been sixty to sixty two. Yeah. But but don't quote me on that because um it's been a few weeks since I last drove that, so that may not be one hundred percent accurate. Yeah, I mean, people ask why should I go and buy a Swiss Sport over a Fiesta? Well, I think the Swiss Sport has always been underrated. Yeah, and I think the Swiss Sport has always concentrated more on the driver and given them more, like in terms of just driving this, the feedback you get, I think is just so much more rewarding. Whereas the Fiesta, when I had when I had an ST, it's kind of just point and bang straight away, and it's just like you don't. You, you expect it from it, whereas this you don't. And I mean, again, with the outgoing one, it was the price, wasn't it? That was what like ticked the boxes for so many people because it was yeah. just affordable. Whereas this has grown up like everything has. The like, Focus RS is growing up. It's got five doors. Yeah. But with this, they've hidden it into the C-pillar, so they've kind of balanced it. So it looks like a free door, but it isn't. And uh, yeah, you can use this long distance as well. Oh, yeah. It's a comfortable car to be in, both yeah. as a driver and passenger. Like today, we've done a mix of motorway and of yeah. B road scenic driving, and tomorrow we're at Mondello Park. That's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Part one of the Swift Sport press launch has come to an end. It's been a fantastic day and a really good evening. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Again, a big thanks to them. I can't say thanks enough to Suzuki for bringing me along. And to even make it better, they've given me this. Look at that. My very own Swift Sport to take home with me. But, um, yeah, as I said, we are heading to Mondello Park Circuit tomorrow for some track driving. So that's going to be very interesting, especially it's going to be wet. Um, so hopefully I'm not too rusty. I haven't been on track in a while. But, um, yeah, looking forward to it. So... See you tomorrow. So, hello and welcome to part two of this video. Um, I'm here again with Aaron. Hello. In Car Obsession and we are on Mondello, as you know. Um, pretty much the highlight of this trip, to be fair. Oh, yeah. We've done a few sign laps already and we are now out doing a bit more aggressive driving but the problem is that we are in traffic with the signing car in front yeah so we 
you are getting a taste of what the car is like and it is absolutely mega but not pushing it as much as we would like to so Mondello Park wow I've never actually been to the circuit for the first time and typical British weather has joined us back in Ireland and it isn't spoiling it at all this car is so capable and mm. as my, me and Aaron have said these brakes are absolutely brilliant yeah they are good bit of understeer there, but that's to be expected in the rain. Yeah. So we have everything off at the moment, traction control and all the safety features. Yeah. And I still think the traction control is a little bit if in the corner. It's the little guy helping him out still, but yeah, definitely not as intrusive as the outgoing version. Traction. <laughs> than a rabbit you know what <laughs> and uh, since we've been out another issue is the limiter we don't like it do we it's no. a normal traditional limiter where it just pops 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 like that this one kind of just limits you and kind of pushes yeah, you back so yeah it kind, of, hesitant it, it kind of shoots you down doesn't it yeah. kind of like, no 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 stop that you're having far too much fun There's plenty of grip, the steering is direct, the car feels agile, obviously it weighs less than a thousand kilograms, so it is very light. Yeah, all these parameters just show yeah. that Suzuki are on top form doing that. Really and the increase in torque, you really feel that on track. Yeah. Um, you really get that nice, that nice surge as you move through the rev range, um, and it, it's got a good amount of pull to it. Yeah, so far, yeah, I'm definitely impressed. Steaming up like, across the juice. Then it is. Yeah. Don't mind putting on the heater. <laughs> it's getting rather steamy in here. Yes. Go home. To be fair, if you told me you're bringing racing shoes, I would have bought mine. 
Oh, oh, then, oh. <laughs> oh, wicked, that was cool. So, yeah, now for Mr. Aaron's turn in the Suzuki Swift Sport. The jeans are halfway down my arms. <laughs> so, here we are, the end of the Suzuki Sport press launch. Oh my god, it's been amazing. A big thanks to Suzuki for inviting me along. This car has been fantastic. And back to the answer at the beginning of the video is this car as good as the outgoing? Well, actually, it's a lot better. So, good job to Suzuki. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe, comment below on the thoughts of the car, and yeah, thanks for watching.